Actually, it seems you walk over the haters. Now, what you do, my Azunto? Azunto. You're now watching Afro Gossip. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Shout out to the people watching Afro Gossip. My name is Mzungu Kicha. Knock, knock, knock. This is Simba from Mozambique, Stoweki, and Zimbabwe. You're watching Afro Gossip. Hello, this is Diana Samkange Mangwenya, and you are watching Afro Gossip. Tashi kapa dance flow, went a bit low, then we bring it up slow, we roll it up once more. Hey yo, this is your girl L I P S Y, and you're watching Afro Gossip. Hello world. Hey, my name is Bashupi, one of the best artists in the whole world, and you're watching Afro Gossip. Watch this program. Don't be late. Don't touch that channel. Why is it? Boom! Hi there. This is Jessessi Mungoshi. You're watching Afro Gossip. You're watching Afro Gossip. Greetings, cool people of the world. You're watching Afro Gossip. What up? This is J Boss Tuno Man, aka Speedy Mugatena. Panagana Pressure, Panagana Pressure. You are watching Afro Gossip. Hala. To gossip. Stay tuned. You are the future of television. and thank you very much for joining me it's Lydia Heather Mudari and I'm right here in Harare the sunshine city there is so much sun to enjoy it's a beautiful Sunday morning and today I'll be speaking to the best Zimbabwean entertainers so keep watching for more Hi Willis, how are you today? How are you doing? What's up? You good? Uh, Hi I'm everybody, how are you? What's up? I'm fine. Yeah. I saw you on stage. Oh my God, powerful. Thank you. Powerful. Thanks. Tell me more about that, your music, your music career um, and yourself. Basically, um, um, my name is Willis Watafi, Africa. Um, I used to belong to a group called After Revenge. Multi award winning, and I've got awards to my name as well. I'm running three different acts. Uh, that is the five tribes of Africa, which you witnessed uh, last night on stage. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's basically um, bringing out the voice of the ancestors because my music seeks to celebrate the footprints of those who have come before us, and those whose footprints have helped shape the future that we live in today. And uh, we're not uh, embarrassed to talk about who we are as a people, as Africans, and to withhold to uphold who we are as a people and protection of our ethos as well. And then Willis uh, Otafe, Kaya Woods. Kaya means meaning home. And that's where the heart is. That's what my music is about. It just seeks to um, instill some sort of uh, pride and nostalgia in the African man. Okay. Yeah. What, what do we call that music? Is that uh, is is, traditional music? Afro it's, uh, as, as in five tribes, you saw that yesterday. I was raised by five tribes. I mean, one of the tribes, uh, I, you were one of them, <laughs> the Develes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it was the Tongas, uh, the Karangas, the Shonas, the Develes, and then mostly where I come from, the Kore Kores. So it's a fusion of all these 
uh, the way of life, uh, putting together all these uh, tribes that raised me. So what, what I'm doing is just basically celebrating all that because it's part of me. But all those tribes are part of me. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. What's the message in this music? The message is hope, is love, is um, it's, 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 it's the existence of, uh, of our ancestors and the voices that still ex exist in us. And also to say Christianity came to reaffirm who we are, not to erase our way of life because we still knew God back in the days. And I was talking to some pastor who was telling me that people who don't know Jesus are in hell. And then I said, look, my ancestor knew about Nsikavan, who is God. So are you saying he's in hell because he didn't know Jesus? Because we still pray to the same God. Just that we call him Mwari and people didn't know about Jesus Christ, you understand? Mm -hmm. So the message is, I think we shouldn't apologize to be African, to be who we are. And just believe in who we are as a people because we are a people and we have a way of life that we can't just erase just because something new has come. But we embrace the new things, but in the midst of that we still, you know, uphold who we are. Very interesting. Yeah. And how did all this start? When did you actually uh, say, okay? In Murewa, in Mount Dare, where I was raised, uh, I used to read the Mazira, you know, play drums on the, at the back of the grass huts. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother used to always say, you know, this one will be a musician. But then the thing about me is that uh, it's, um, it's sort of like, uh, what can I say? My, my ancestor called Mashai Mombe. Uh, who lived more than three, four hundred years ago, okay. had dreadlocks like I, I have, mm -hmm. was a musician, but he was one guy who obviously went to, into a liberation struggle, the first one, the first Mbrenga, oh. you know. Uh, but he was more of a musician. So after all those many centuries, mm -hmm. there comes a man called Willis Watafi, who's doing exactly the same things that my sister did. You're the next in line. Exactly. So what it is, is uh, you can't say, well, it's a calling, yes, but then I'm basically just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. There's a message that we probably need to send out there, and I'm not embarrassed to say that I listen to the voices of my ancestors concerning all this. And there's another huge campaign that maybe I cannot talk about right now that involves a lot of things that happened to the ancestors, with our sisters that must be brought back to Africa. Okay. Yeah, so that will be coming soon and you will have exclusivity. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah. You obviously enjoy what you do. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it shows with your uh, performances yeah. when yeah. you're on stage. Yeah. What are your experiences as a young artist in Zimbabwe? Well, uh, okay, we don't have an industry to speak of to start with, but I think uh, it's the passion that drives every musician to stay on. Uh, I'm a trained architect. You know, I do interiors and other things that bring in the money, but then the music is a passion. We we stay on whether there's an uh, industry or not. Uh, and my experience is that, obviously, because we believe in what we do, something, you know, something, something, something's got to give someday. And I think um, I'm just happy about some of the policy makers that they're bringing forth this kind of policy that will actually enhance the industry and also separating uh, the, 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 the ministries, you know, sports and culture, but it's now just sports and culture, not with education, that kind of like opens up a bit of doors and then you know, some of the people that are also coming to government who really made some things possible for us. Mm -hmm. So I think the next generation has something good happening or coming to them because of the new policies that are being made. So my experiences in Zimbabwe have been great because people have embraced Kaya music, which is now a genre, mm -hmm. not just a style of music, but it's now a genre because many other youngsters are not doing Kaya music mm -hmm. as an option. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And Zimbabwean music mm -hmm. on the international stage, yeah. where do you see it? Uh, we, we have some of the best musicians because I remember one of the biggest Wembley concerts that happened with Madonna. Uh, the Bundy Boys opened for her. Oh, you know? Boys. Yeah, you remember them? Yes, yeah, definitely. It, yeah, they still won uh, yeah, of yeah. the Bundy Boys in Scotland. Exactly, in Scotland. Uh, Rays, is it? Rays? Yeah, Rise, yeah. Rise, yeah, you yes. see. Yeah, I follow my musician as well. He's uh, one of my mentors as well. And I think some of the music on the international stage, we still have a lot to do in terms of the marketing of our music because sometimes uh, because of some things that are happening here we don't get to 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 okay we don't have resources rather but now with the availability of internet you know mm -hmm. youtube you can just post something for free mm -hmm. and you have your account for free and people get to see who you are but we have a lot of musicians that we export to from here oliver took it to one of our legends thomas from Fimno, who's out there willis watafi who's talking to you right now <laughs> <laughs> okay and um 
Um, we talked about Zimbabwean music on the international market. How do you yeah. see the future of Zimbabwean music, or let's say your future as a Zimbabwean artist? Uh, I want to talk about maybe Af African art. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the future of music because right now what's happening is that the rest of the world is now looking for content from Africa, mm -hmm. if you agree with me. Yes, I do. You find that the musicians who are now out there doing a lot of great things in, on the international stage and they're African musicians. Mm -hmm. You have multi-talented multi, multi -talented mus musicians like Yusun Do, uh -huh. who are like doing great things out there. Mm -hmm. They're selling two million records in two months in Europe alone, but they're singing a language that the people don't understand. Mm -hmm. So world music, so African music is world music. And I think world music is taking over, it's the future of 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 no, of, of music. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's very interesting. How big is your fan base? Where where would you say you are in terms of success at the moment? I'm I'm still growing. Baby steps. That's where I am. Okay. Yeah, I know I've got uh, ten hours in my uh, in my in my display at home, and I've traveled the world and everything else. But ten I think hours. I'm just yeah. Mm. I think I'm just starting because. I think being awarded in Zimbabwe is, is, is the first stage, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the next time you'll be interviewing me, I'll be carrying Grammys. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's where I'm going. We're looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, it's going to happen. Sure. Not my words. <laughs> okay, so where, where do we access your music and um, how many albums do you have so far? Simple? I have uh, two albums to my name as a solo, but the other one is with a group that I used to have called After Revenge. You find them at www.watafi.com. Mm -hmm. That's World Wide Web, W A T A W F I.com. Mm -hmm. You can go into the options to show you where the music is. You can buy online, by the way, but if you can't buy online, you can find me on Facebook, Willis Watafi Africa. You can follow me, Willis Watafi, on uh, Twitter. And then you can also Skype uh, Watafi and then ask me where to get the music. If you're in Africa, if you're in Zimbabwe, you can have the music. But then if you're out there and you're able to buy online, you can access www.watafi.com and buy online. Okay. Mm. Um, I was going to ask mm. if we can get a piece, a slice of your you music. Can like you can Oh my gosh, you can hear the This is not even my original voice <laughs> because um, uh, I've just done two shows in a row and I haven't slept. So, oh. uh, yeah, we'll put a snippet for you, but I, I really don't have the voice, okay. I swear. Okay, we'll let you go for yeah. now yeah. and definitely get you next time. Okay, you cool. have to give us something. Appreciate it. Um, shout love to. out? Shout out to God who's made this possible. I always greet him. Uh, shout out to my family. Shout out to my little baby Zoe who's in Cape Town. Uh, having a birthday soon, so I love you so much. I'm coming to see your first day at Crash. Uh, shout out to my uncle Victor Nyangoni, who has raised me, and my family, the Watafi, the kingdom of the Korokores, the hunters and rainmakers, Kachambwa, Chikonamombe, Kusho, Maita, that's me, and we'll see you next time, and thank you for having me, and to gossip, stay tuned, you are the future of television. Shinkuri joined politics back in the 70s and today she is serving as the Minister of Women Affairs, Gender and Community Development for Zimbabwe African National Union Patriotic Front, ZAMPF, the most controversial political party in the world led by the popular president Robert Mugabe. So today I'm going to find out her story from the time she joined politics? Yes, I was born uh, from a very political family and uh, from a tender age of 16 already I came face to face with politics. Don't tell them 
my cali. Look then I 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 my cali. Pandai je mwane msuru Maizi shaya upe maikani Kutide mwana ararama Iko sinoda wechi kondora Iko sinoda wechi mandara Iko sinoda wechi kondora Iko sinoda wechi mandara Nai mai, dokte nai sei Nai mai, dokte nai sei Nai mai, dokte nai sei